This tutorial is to show you how to get paid and this is through Call CID or the call tracking portal. So we're going to log in. We tell Google that we're not robots and the first thing you want to do is go over to account and come down to payment gateway and you can connect any or all of these. You only need one. You can connect all three of them if you wish and I'm going to connect my Stripe account. Now you have to already have a Stripe account in order to connect it so if you don't have one you come over to this little link here and sign up or you come down to link your Stripe. So I'm clicking on link my Stripe we select the account, sign in, okay and you're going to come over to the left menu bar and click on API. So it's telling me that there is an update available to the API version. Okay, so that looks like it was fine. So now we just reveal the live key or the secret key, copy the key, and go back to the call tracking portal and paste the Stripe API key in here and save. Okay, so we our Stripe detail have saved successfully, so we are all connected now. And again, you can go down and add authorized net or PayPal. So from this screen you're going to go to the second menu down and click on invoicing. And by default it is not set up so you click on enable invoicing, come down and save settings. So the next thing we're going to do is come to payment settings. So here you can enable prepayments or disable prepayments and a prepayment would be say your client has a fund of five hundred dollars in their account and whatever they use draws from that five hundred dollars and when the five hundred dollars starts getting low the enable prepayments would allow you to automatically charge them another five hundred dollars to fill their account back up so from invoice payment settings we go and add the card and you'll fill in you'll fill in all the details for your client and enter the card number, the month, the expiration, you want their phone number, etc. And when the details are all complete, you'll click save. So that wraps up this tutorial on getting your payment gateway set up and the following tutorial will show you how to connect invoices.